In this video, we are going to be getting one of the most difficult weapons to get inside of King Legacy. And that is going to be Saber V2, one of the brand new weapons inside of Update 5. And honestly, it's probably one of the best now because they nerfed a bunch of the old best swords, though they're basically not that usable. At least not compared to most of the common swords. But this one is pretty strong. So if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started because this brand new sword takes a very long time to actually get. So I really want to show it to y'all. Okay, after a few days of doing boss grinding, I met 2 million bounty, which is the first step to get Saber V2. And before I go ahead and do the first step of the actual quest, which once you talk to this NPC, which is in the back left of the castle in C3, you can talk to this guy below the bridge, which gives you the first step, which is to defeat Lord of Saber, which is the only floor, which is the only C3 boss. Now, before we actually go ahead and do that, I just want to quickly explain how I managed to get 2 million experience. And I will let you know now that I did absolutely zero PvP to do this. Because I, well, first of all, I'm not the best at PvP. I can't really compete with the top bounty guys because they just they just know all the top combos. And I don't find doing, like, one-hit combos fun on players. But also just because I'm not that good. But how I get 2 million bounty is essentially by grinding bosses, which is any of these NPCs that only have one. So, like, this guy, there's only one of him with the name. But there's four D1 villagers. These guys do not give bounty if I just go ahead and kill one of them real quick as you can see no bounty from that but if i were to kill one of these i would get bounty which i can get bounty every two hours and i just got done killing them all so i can't get bounty right now but i'm just going to quickly show all the boss spawn locations so if you don't want to grind bounty on your own you can see where to go oh yeah and the first i'm using for this is i'm using gate fruits to get around teleport all the islands because of this menu and i'm using rumble for damage normally for c2 and 3 because it does a little bit more so it's easier to kill but all the spawn locations you can skip to this time stamp if you you don't need to grind a bounty but there are two on the first island Smokey and Tashi one on the pirate island the clown another two on soldier island the barbaric and the captain then another two on shark island you have shark man and karate fish man another two on the chef ship dory and dark leg another two on snow you have king snow and little deer another two on sky you have ball man and rumble man Another two on Bubble Island, you have Leader and Pasta. Then every single NPC on Lobby, Wolf, Giraffe, and Leo, all are bosses. Same with Shadow Master and also Ores if you want to spawn him in. He doesn't give that much, but if you have the orbs and you really want bounty, it's worth it. Then on War Island, you have True Karate Fish Man and Quake Woman. And for the last consistent one, on Fish Land, there are the Sword Fish Man, the Combat Fish Man, and also the Seasoned Fish Man. You can also technically kill Shanks on Stone Area, which drops the Saber. He also drops Bounty, but that's all for C1. Now starting on C2, you have Gazelle Man. Violet Samurai, Duke, Magician, Kitsune Samurai, Meji and Petra, Bearman and Bean, and then Kappa and Joey all on the first island in C2. Then Skull Island, he has the Elite Skeleton, and Dragon Boss does not drop bounty. At least it didn't for me the one time I did it. I don't know if it's because I died too many times or something like that. Then on Dead Tundra, every single enemy here, the Desert Thief, Anubis, Flame User, and Pharaoh all draw bounty. On Loaf, Sunken Vessel, Biscuit Man, and Doe Master all draw bounty also. I do not know about Big Mom's boss. I have not fought Big Mom's boss yet this update, so I don't know. I should also note that the boss that spawns up there does draw bounty. I do know that for a fact. Shred has two bosses, which you can use, which you can fight in Lava Area and Ice Area. You have to spawn them in, though, so I haven't done them yet. Do not know if they draw bounty. They probably do. And on Pirate Skull Island, Sally and Supreme Swordsman drop bounty, but also they drop totems to spawn in Blackbeard, which does also drop bounty. So if you get one during your grind, go ahead and spawn him in and kill him. He gives a bit. Same with Headquarters, Ponder, Ponder and Hefty both drop bounty, but they also drop totems to spawn in Lucidus up on the second story which also drops bounty. And then on the last island dress, Rosa, you have Lomeo, Devastate, Prince Area, Fluffy, Physicus, and Ryu, who all drop bounty. Quite a bit, too. Also, I do not know if Sea Kings, Hydras, or um, the boats spawn and draw bounty, because I, I have not fought them yet either. I don't think they do, though. Then in C3, there's only a few. You have Fugitive, the Deep One, not the Villagers, and then Kings, and then Fishman Kingsguard, who all drop bounty. Say 
same with the sword master that spawns here the one we're about to kill he also drops bounty but i haven't fought him much for it due to avoiding public service from pvpers because this took me about four or five days to grind up where i got about 500 up to 600 000 a day on the last few days just to speed it up and yet again they spawn in every two hours so it is quite a pain to effectively grind it but if you just set a timer you can do it decently fast at best it'll take about 50 hours if you count all the waiting basically 26 to like 30 times you have to kill all the bosses not too bad especially compared to pvping but yes let's go find a server to kill that boss i will do just enough credit to be left alone hopefully <laughs> i should also note sorry one last thing um you can get a maximum of three million bounty doing that cool little idea by the way so just keep that in mind I mean, while I wait, I just want to go ahead and show what the original Saber does. The Z ability does a thrown little red attack. Not that good. And then we have a Holy Sword, which does a bunch of crosses. That if they hit, do a lot of damage, but you have to be pretty close to hit them. So honestly, the original Saber is not too good. There's a reason why it is no one's really used it until now. Here we go. Here is one of the bosses, I think. I've been server hopping for it. Go ahead and get some damage on. Cheap damage, because I don't need a whole lot of credit. Very little credit entire. I'm desperately trying not to die so i'm just not gonna go in there this thing's gonna die so slow because there's so many people using the vortex this thing's, this thing's gonna take so long <laughs> hey, well, i've definitely dealt enough damage so i'm gonna stop using that so it dies faster and they really have to fix the fact that you can't damage npcs while gate's active because with how many people have gate this boss is never gonna die it only has to take 15 more of those ults and this dead because <laughs> the only ability is actually being used okay it's almost dead there we go okay, cool so now they've done that i got a bunch of bounty but i also got the message talk to unearthly guardian which is, is it you yeah it's you again okay you, you succeeded i need five aqua gems and one kraken's cash which if i go ahead and decline i already have that as you can see i have one cash which i got just for being in c3 you get, you get it to come here and then i also have five aqua gems which if you want to know how to get those i do show how to get them in the video where i got the acro spear this item right here i go in depth how to do that i'm not going to go in depth on that again because it's not really necessary so if you want to see go watch that video it's like the first half of the video i explain how to get them they're not too difficult they just take a while but I mean, cool so now we've done that let's head back to castle i just left so i didn't get pvp logged and if i go ahead and interact with you again and press accept i should now have saber v2 i have new abilities awesome wrong teleport i desperately do not want to be, be pvp right now <laughs> i'm not set up for that but okay let's see so now we have havoc cleave and grasp reunion so let's see if i hold z okay that is really really cool that is a really cool attack my lord that's awesome and if i go ahead and old x look at that that is awesome i let go of it does a giant slash kind of reminds me of um the old nightblade before they ruined it sadly that is awesome okay um i want to try a couple things with this thing first of all wait do i have upgrades okay no it looks the same it just does it has to have the plus one on it let me head to my private server real quick i want to test small enemies and big enemies so if i go ahead and use these attacks on a small enemy the x does 11.2 thousand not too bad let's see if it does more from a distance see if it like builds distance like the old nightblade v2 no, I don't, that one just missed because he dashed forward okay let's see okay no same no matter what if i go ahead and use the z look at that fourteen thousand damage i bet that is very combo they can very much combo with that i mean look at that that is some insane damage it lasts quite a while too and i bet i can control more than one enemy let's see C can i use it on more than one enemy at a time and can i also change the direction i can yeah until i lose the dash i can drag more than one enemy at a time that is really nice look at that that is a really good weapon that was worth it okay let's hit the c2 so we can fight a bigger enemy and see if it has increased damage i also realized i should probably look the part and luckily he uses the right hand without really using the other hand at all too which is good just ignore the fact that i'm waving the hand and ha that's out just ignore all that but let's see does it actually deal more damage or not so let me get him into the mode real quick that is so nice i bet people have made some really smart combos on that but let's see okay only hits once even with big npcs that's a bit of a shame but overall it is still really good i mean i should probably compare it to the sword i've been using a lot which is much easier to get the hell sword if i go ahead and just do one combo with this thing 
is like one Z and this 22,000 damage. Saber V2, which has a very amazing similar combo, does deal more. It deals like 4,000 more. Or maybe it was 2,000. I forgot the other number already. But still, honestly, not a bad sword. I'm glad I got finally got it. It does. It, it did take a while. I did also rush it. You can do it in a much slower fashion like most players are going to do. Being able to 3 million bounty before you stop gaining bounty from bosses. So just by playing the game, you should be able to eventually get 2 million bounty. Especially as a new player that plays much slower than like me, for example, or I'll like beat the max level in 24 hours. But yeah, it's very, very happy. I'm so glad I finally got it. Because that is honestly just so cool. I'll end up using this sword a lot.